One of the injured women gets pulled from the tangled wreckage. If the 51-year-old female driver of this car wasn't so fortunate, killed when this truck veered onto the wrong side of Melba Highway in Dixon's Creek, crushing her van and another car. We actually feel lucky. Um, it could have been a whole lot worse. We could not have our daughter. Definitely uh, this time, three or four years ago, I don't think Olympics would have been uh, in sight. So, um, you know, to have that turn around and be able to now say that, you know, hopefully, hopefully that's what's going to be happening in the next six months, uh, it's, it's really exciting. to be tough to yourself, not never to the horse of course, but tough to yourself and really push yourself and push the limits all the time and uh, she's very good at that and uh, I think I think again that's also got something to do that she has been riding before so she knows a little bit about if I want to achieve something with the horse I have to do a lot and in this case she has to do more. A good family friend of mine, Glenn Carter, uh, did a cycle around Australia a few years ago um, to raise the funds in order for me to actually be able to purchase a horse like Zidane. So, um, you know, without him, we I wouldn't be here today where I am and doing what I'm doing. So, um, you know, it's it's the support from everyone, uh, family, friends. They've all been by my side and supporting me 100% every step of the way. Look, very difficult at the start, obviously, and uh, probably 18 months before you really start to get your head around what's happened. But uh, we cope, we're coping much better now because we've got amazing friends, amazing family. I can't stress that enough, actually. They, they were our backbone. She's really had this burning desire um, not to let her life slip by and, and, and to make something of it. Um, and I think that, that determination and her work ethic has probably helped us with making the time go fast. It's certainly been busy.